All right, so after some CSS and after some stuff, this is what I ended up with. It's just basic CSS. I'm gonna post the code there, but it's just boring for you to see. I made some global styles with the style components. I installed the style reset. I created the movie uh, component, whatever. The important part to see, I don't know why I have an error here. TypeScript is being a dickhead. Um, I really don't know what's wrong. Details, details, details. Something must be wrong, but I don't know what it is. If you know what it is, let me know because I've got no clue. Everything seems closed. Don't know, whatever. So, um, yes, so we I have the same thing I had before. I just created a movie component, ID, key, poster, title, and rating. And this is how it looks like, okay? Now, the important part to see is that I'm giving it the ID prop. And when it gets the ID prop, I'm making a link, right? To details, slash something, all right? This is the ID that I'm giving it. So if you look here, you will see that we do 8076, and they all go to their different ID, all right? All of them. Um, that's it. That's basically what I did. Now what I want to show you is how do you how do you call a query uh, with um, um, variables? Uh, in this case, for example, here I want to call movie, right? And movie has an ID. Uh, how do I call a variable? Uh, how do I put a variable inside of a query? That is the uh, goal of this video. So I'm gonna go to detail, and I am going to import the query component. from React Apollo, All right? And before I do this, I'm going to also import with router from React router DOM. If I'm not mistaken, this should be something with router. Let's see. Yes, with router. Re-exporter from core, what? With router from React router. You think it doesn't exist? Let's see. With router here, because I want to get the parameters uh, or params or whatever you want to call it of the URL. So I click here, this thing. This is 8076, I need to get that uh, with, and with router allows me to do so, okay? I don't know if, you can see how cool it is, but we have the loading state and everything and it's working perfectly and I haven't done anything of fetching. I haven't changed anything of the state, nothing. Uh, I don't know, I just wanna reiterate this because it's awesome. Uh, let me see, router, and I'm gonna get location. Location, here, all right. Just to fuck around, I want to see the location object. I'm gonna return this like this. Here on details, inspect, location, here we go. Hash path name search state. No, that's not the one I'm looking for. History, it is the one I'm looking for, history. History, location, path name, mm -mm. Search state, nope. Where's one, where is it? Match, maybe it's matched. If you don't understand what I'm doing, I am just, there it is. Params, this is what I'm looking for, params, so it's matched. When you do with router, um, this component gets the route, all right? This component gets the props of the router, but I think because this is a route on itself, detail is a route, I think it also has matched already, yeah. So I don't need I don't need with router. All right. So basically, I have path params inside movie ID. All right. So I have match, and then params, and then inside movie ID. All right. And this is what I want to get. Let's see movie ID. Let's see if it's working. Yes. Eight. Eight is twenty seventy-six. Let's come here. Uh, this one, 
26 awesome here 12 great I don't know if you notice but every time I come back and forward this stays with me uh, it doesn't get it doesn't get fetched again and this is something unique on react router and and sorry on Apollo um, this uh, cache all right for you if you click once and you get the data it stays there with you it doesn't go away which is something super nice if you ask me and as you can see here look we can see all the awesome uh, uh, all the queries that he has made and what's currently on the cache which is cool if you ask me uh, on this course we don't learn how to handle the cache because it will be great to be able to change the cache for example if I make this movie my favorite it would be nice to change the cache to my favorite and like true or false uh, this we don't do on this course this we do on the Nuber course on the Uber clone we don't do it here because it takes a little bit more it's not too much but it is um, different um, from what you would expect uh, all right so continue now that let's go back to zero okay this looks better so much better now um, now what I want to do is to go to details what is it here all right and I am going to make a query but how much time is it it's too long I'm gonna stop here and on the next one I'm going to make a query here uh, movie details see you on the next one bye bye